Welcome back. The U.S. Surgeon General is urging Congress to mandate warning labels on social media platforms, just like the warnings you see on cigarette packs. Dr. Vivek Murthy wants to highlight the potential mental health risks for young people. Murthy suggests that while a warning label alone won't make social media safer, it's necessary in raising awareness and also changing behavior. So are warning labels necessary? Will they help? Joining us now to take a deeper dive into this topic, we have Dr. Ricardo White, a psychiatrist with Dignity Health Community Hospital in San Bernardino. Thank you so much for joining me. This is a really important conversation. Hi, Kalina. It's good to be here. Of course, of course. Okay, so what do you think about the call to put a warning label on social media? Well, I applaud Dr. Murthy's attention to this issue and his commitment to actually take steps in the direction of expanding the conversation. I think the critical role that placing that label would play is us conversing about it and recognizing that we need initiatives to deal with this issue. Um, so we know that during the period of 10 to 19, it's a highly sensitive period for brain development. And we also know that a core component of addiction is both compulsion despite negative consequences. And so we know that using social media can be incredibly addictive. So when you combine that with that young developmental age, we absolutely want to take steps to protect those young minds. Uh, because we know that the exposure can at times be connected to body self-image issues, um, increased depression and anxiety, which, of course, we need to be very vigilant and, and, and attentive in addressing. That's actually going to be my next question. When it comes to being attentive, what are some things that parents can do or maybe friends can do when it comes to seeing a young person changing or showing some of those signs that social media may be impacting them and their mental health in a different way? Well, I think a critical part of addressing issues that are compulsive is replacing the behavior. So if people are, or if kids are having more virtual friends, it's taking a look at, well, what can we do to make sure that we can step out of that virtual realm and have actual experiences, which we know can often be much more meaningful. Um, so it's a strategy of not just removing an option, but actually replacing it with something that is more enriched and more attached to well-being. Do you actually think that adding a warning label will do anything? Because I do know that actually one of my coworkers just this morning was talking about how only one of her kids has a phone and they're the only one that can use social media, but she has so many um, avenues where she can kind of regulate what her child is seeing and doing. Do you think the warning label will help since parents already have that access or do you think it is an actual important thing? I think it's important to recognize that Dr. Murthy is an expert in population medicine so that clearly he's seen some data to believe that warning labels is going to be part of um, helping address this issue. But he's also wisely noted that it can't be the only thing that's done, but it is an important step in escalating the discussion. But, but we can't just rely on that, obviously. I feel like this is something that even as adults, you know, we just had a story just this morning about lead by example. If you yourself as the adult is looking on social media constantly, your kids are picking up on your own behavior. With summertime here and a lot of kids out of school, do you tend to see more of these cases over summer with social media use or people coming to you saying, hey, my kid is showing um, some different types of issues? Or is this something that seems to be predominantly over the regular school year? Well, when I worked on the adolescent units, I remember during the summertime, we would see a reduction in admissions, oh. if, if anything. Um, but definitely, it can be a wonderful time for us to increase our creativity in having stimulating, engaging activities that are, again, less dependent on, on the social media and, and more involved in terms of actually uh, engaging with real experiences that can often be so much more enriched. Doctor, thank you so much for your time. You're the best. I really appreciate it. This is such an important conversation, so I'm so glad you were able to just give us so much insight that's, that's very much needed. Thank you. Kalina, thank you so much for the opportunity. Have a wonderful day. You too.